hello welcome back to my channel thank you for coming back and as always huge massive thank you for the support i really do appreciate it so uh, i'm going to come back with the last set of toppers from this perfect days um, and this is the just for you and you've got these sort of um, grey tabbies. You've got a little brown tabby there. A couple of little toppers. Um, two, two smaller ones and then two slightly larger. So that's what we're going to be playing with today. So I'm going to start off with a piece of um, 6 by 12 cardstock. And we're just going to score this in half. I'm going to start off with a nice simple tent fold card. And no, I need to be scoring that at six, not eight. And I'm just going to turn that over and brush that one down. So I was just playing with my glue, so I've got little bits of glue balls everywhere. Okay. So that's our little tent fold card. And I'm going to bring in the trimmer. We're going to start with a gold mat. Um, this is the Miri one. I'm going to take two notches off all the way around. And then that one should fit on there quite nicely. It does. And then I'm going to come in with the foil piece. You've got this lovely little paw prints along the bottom. And we're going to cut that at five and three quarters. That's going to be a square. I think and we'll keep all of that on there. And this should fit onto here quite nicely, and it does. Okay, so nothing super special about this card. It's just going to be um, a sort of straightforward card just to get started today. And uh, then the glues I'm using, as always, is the Kalau all-purpose glue, which is in that, that clear container. And then the Kalau tacky glue, which is in this white container. And I have topped them up today, so um, hopefully they're going to behave themselves. Let's just make sure I get that one nice and straight. That would be nice for a start. Here we go. I'm just giving that a good press down to make good contact with the base card that I'm using. I'm just going in on those corners. Let's see. So it could go either way. I kind of feel like they should be that way up. So we will go ahead. And do that like the same. Okay. And then if I bring uh, our cat that seems to be on a kitchen counter because I can see flour, milk, and a rolling pin there. That could be an egg. Looks like it's a case of if I if I fit, I sit. Um, I'll just go with that sentiment I think made with love just for you which is the one that the topper sheet is made for or named for sorry and then we'll just have a little play around with some of these frames just popping them out gently all the way around kind of feeling like I don't want to, well I could do, I could go, I'm not sure if I like that one, or I could go, And then there's nowhere to put that or that one that way, so let's just have kind of 
feel like that needs to go in the brown because it's got that green on it. So when I was looking online and sort of trying to sort of kickstart my uh, creativity, I kind of saw one that was like that. Um, and there is uh, another one, so that's this one here. So just bringing the other topper in. Could go with a little triad. I don't know if I want to pop that back in. Let's see what it looks like without it and with. That definitely needs to be without. So let's get rid of that one for now. Uh, let's just check. But thank you ever so much. Let's see if that sentiment sits better on there with it being a circle. Yeah, I think I'm going to go like that. So let's start with these one millimeter pads. And these are these uh, small pads, so uh, it's going to take me a little while to put them on and take them off. So I'm just going to fast forward to when I have done all that for you. Okay, so I've taken all the backs off, so I'm just going to pop some tacky glue over. And if you don't like the idea of um, leaving the inside or with this pattern don't forget you've got if you've got the inserts with the printed papers you've got those that you can choose from or the insert itself if you find the insert with this cat on you could frame that in the middle that would look quite nice as well okay so now more foam pads but slightly higher let's go with these ones these are probably about a two millimeter and I'm going to put this one here, so I'm going to pop a bit across the back there. So I'm just trying to avoid where the actual uh, border is going to be, where that frame is. So let's just check that fits quite nicely. Yep. So I just I haven't got enough room on that sheet to put this bit back so I'm just going to keep up my finger for a minute and hopefully it's not going to mess up anything else. Oh, Henry's decided to bark. He's getting near people coming home from work time and putting their bin out. So. There we go. And then this one we're having right there. So we just need a tiny bit on the bottom. Oops, it's gone. I think let's pop this so we know this is going down here. Just going to pop that across there. I know I'm going to be safe to put that there. And then this one here, just going to pop a little one millimeter pad there because it will catch on the edge of this frame and uh, support it. I just need to get the backs off if they want to behave. There we go. Again some tacky glue just to give me that bit of wiggle to room time. I think we're going to be okay there. glue there so I will hide that with the gem. Okay so we've got this one here. I'm 
just want the piece to go across here. I think a bit across there. Hopefully that's going to be okay. So I've got a bit of space now to put that spare back. And then what I am going to do, I'm not going to take the backs off these. So I'm just going to put those on there for support. That's good. Okay, if you want to take the backs off and have a bit of extra sticky, that's fine. Um, but at the moment, I don't think I need to do that. So sometimes I do. Hmm, well, most times, nine times out of ten, I do. There we go, gotcha. A little bit of the tacky glue again. Just sticky hands for some reason. Okay. We're coming in down here. This is that to get about where we want to be. And then I think I'm going to come in with gold gems. Let's grab a little tray. Get rid of that at the back. I think I'm going to put some of the smaller ones there. Just not quite as straight as I would have liked it to have been. That's better. Okay, so I've got some glue leaking in here, so maybe that's where I'm getting the sticky fingers from. Maybe I've overfilled it a little bit. Okay, let's try again. So we've got we need to hide this little spot here and I'm just going to do a couple of odd little spots for them and I'm going to vary the size So I'm liking that and then what I'm going to do is just pop so how many got five and then I'm just going to put two there they are going to be really small ones apologies about Henry definitely somebody moving the bin okay. and that that one finished so what I'm going to do is just get set up for card number two okay so for the second card I'm going to use this card blank I've made and it's exactly six but it's about two notches under eight um, and it's a tent fold card okay so let's bring the trimmer in uh, turn it in the right way no, it was the right way before. Drag that little arm out. Um, and I'm going to start with a piece of gold card stock. And I'm just going to cut that to two notches under the six. And then seven and three quarters. I'm just going to check that's going to fit nicely. I was aiming for an eight by six, but for some reason it was just slightly off, but I can work with it, so it's not a problem. Okay, that's fine. And then I'm gonna use this backing card. 
and uh, oh, sorry I just saw my glue was on the wall with the lid so maybe that's why it's leaking All right, let's try that <laughs> Um, so I love the I love the little fuchsia detail on this. I just think it's really pretty, and even on the the top part, if I show you that, oh, they're just delicately foiled. It's just gorgeous. So that's what I'm going to be using. So um, I'm going to use I'm going to go five and three quarters. Save that for another day, and then we need to be seven and a half plus two notches. So let's see how that looks on there. Might have to take just a tiny little smidge off. No, I think it's going to be fine. There we go. So now we can start to assemble. So there's no real magic to this car. I just got burnished down. Yeah, it's going to start off um, quite normal. So let's pop our all purpose on. So I'm just going to put a good amount on. And I'm putting just a bit of extra tacky glue on that top because um, it was quite close to the top. So we're just going to pop that on. Make sure that's nice and even. Yeah, I think that's good. Give that a good press down. It's been ages since I've had to cut an A4 piece of uh, gold mirror. I use because of the six by six cards that uh, I use a lot of those uh, sort of gold mirror mats. So, okay. So remember, as always, you can emboss these, stamp over them. You know, it's a matastic cardstock, um, and it lays itself open to lots of different ways to enhance it. I'm going to use it plain today because I don't want that to be the focus of my card. My card focus is going to be this topper. So, and we've got the, even the frames got the little fuchsias on. It's just gorgeous. It's my favorite topper out of the whole set. But then I really like fuchsias. Me and my nan, we both really like fuchsias. Oh, we've got the Little sentiment's got the little fuchsias on as well, so we'll pop that out because we're definitely going to be tying that in. Okay, so popping this out again. Again, I'm not going to use this middle, this middle um, frame, gold frame. So let's pop that all the way around. So again, you could use this with in conjunction with a little book if you've got it. Um, that would be really nice. Now what I want to do, there's two ways that I could do it. I've decided I'm going to cut into this topper, it's going to come off this page. But if I do it this side, I'm going to lose the fuchsia that I like. And I'd rather lose that part of that jar. And plus I think by having that blue on the pink, it really does show that up a little bit better. And then I think that's probably going to go somewhere like that and then we'll find some nice little pink gems um, to go on. So let's grab some foam pads. So some two millimeter squares there. Well, I think these are slightly deeper. And I'll do the same. Uh, oh, oh, apologies. These might be Yeah, you've got an extra millimetre on those. Okay, so I'm going to start by just popping these. And again, these are the small foam pads, so um, apologies. And I can pop them all the way around because whatever I don't use, I'm cutting off anyway, whatever is over the edge. Now, you don't have to. If you wanted to, you could just make this card maybe uh, half an inch smaller and have this poking over the side as part of the design of it, but I am going to cut the edge off. Um, just moving all the way around. And there. Okay, I don't 
don't think there's an up or down. So let's just pop these backs off. Broken in and I cut the rest because of it in there. Uh, so I'm struggling a little bit with these foam pads. So uh, I had some news yesterday. Um, I think I told you that my my nephew um, was having a baby with his girlfriend and that it wasn't due until March. I think it was March 27th it was due. However, it was born yesterday. So really early. Bless, so I am. It's the first time I've been a great aunt. So uh, that's quite exciting. Um, she's in the special care baby unit at the moment. So... Uh, if you do um, pray, then please do pop a prayer in for her. Her name's Paisley. Um, they picked the name out before she was born. Um, she is £3.5, I think, if I remember rightly. So she's only a teeny wee thing. Doing well, Seem, uh, you know, from what I've heard so far, she seems to be pretty healthy. So I think they've put her in the... Uh, special care baby unit just for you know just to keep an eye on her rather than anything else um, but yeah I've seen some photos of her she um, fortunately looks like her granddad <laughs> um, but she uh, yes yeah, it's, it's nice to have a new addition to the family and uh, obviously we've been a, a great aunt for the first time I'm quite excited about that Okay, so that's on there. And then we're going to go a little lower with this one. Yeah, they knew uh, they knew she was a girl um, from quite early on, I think. And uh, obviously, they weren't expecting it to be quite this early, but uh, everything went really well for them. They were actually um, on holiday over the weekend. Um, in the Isle of Wight, which is you know right down the bottom of the country, miles away from us, and uh, that's when her labour started. So they ended up in hospital on the Isle of Wight. Um, my nephew, bless him, was like panicking, not because she was having the baby, because obviously um, that's you know worry itself, but because he didn't know how. You know, because he's got no family around him down there. It was such a long, long way away, and it was really expensive. You know, he, he he said if we're down here for weeks, I don't know how we're gonna, you know, how I'm gonna be able to do that. So uh, yeah, he he was panicking about that. But then um, they gave her some steroids and some other drugs, and things calmed down. So she was able to come home. They came home straight away. Cut their holiday short. And uh, well, everything was fine until the following morning when everything started again. So back to the hospital they went and uh, they were, um, she was doing all right for a little while. And then they decided they were umming and ahhing whether they were going to break her waters and, and sort of make the baby come because she was dilated to a certain amount. And um so they thought they, that's what they were going to do and then they decided they weren't going to do that and then um, they decided or oh, baby's heartbeat was, was beginning to struggle through the contractions that she was having so they decided that they were going to so she was born yesterday which is this, um, it was a bit of a weird thing really because obviously my nan died on the 31st of uh, January so, uh, mind you, it was 14 years ago, so it's not like yesterday, but, uh, you know, it's, it's strange to have a birthday on another day than we remember someone as well. But uh, she's having uh, my nan's name. My nan's name was Mary. So Mary is in her name as well. I think she's got both of the, the grandparents' names in there. I think she's put uh, her mum's nan in. Or her her nan or her mum one or the other in and then there's Mary so it's uh, nice that the, she's being nan's being commemorated on the day that she passed away it's just a bit uh, 
bit of an odd scenario really but there you go okay so let's find some little pink pearls or gems um i think they're going to be a bit too bright and they're a bit too pink have i got any pinky jewelry ones let's have a look so the problem is my little chest of drawers that i moved yesterday i put it in back to front so it's not in how I would normally have it. So I've got those little Violet Studio ones. That's quite a good match. They're tiny. Um, and then what else have we got? We've got those Crackers Companion ones, I believe. Um, uh, Dovecraft back to basis swirl then. Maybe, not a maybe. Um, let's have a look. Not use anything else. No, I think that's it. So, let's see. So, if I was to put a swirl in. the same pink if there was two the same pink then i would have one you know sort of going that way and that way so i don't think i'm going to use those i think i'm going to go with these ones here don't need the pot because they aren't self-adhesive but i am going to need some grabbies okay so just make sure i've not anything so I'm not going to bother with those either those little tiny teeny tiny ones let's put that back into there and I'm going to go with three one two three and these are probably about a three or four millimeter gem quite a nice size that one is slightly bigger than the other one so we're going to go for two is the larger and one of that smaller okay and then i'm going to do the same down here so two of the larger one come on no play the game there we go one. two and then a smaller one three to stay in the right place there we go and then i need one more and what i think i'm going to do is just pop one these little ditty ones just to make my numbers right makes me feel better about myself it's a little thing okay now what i would do if i had it down here as well so i can't um just a little bit of glitter um i might have i got my ah, i've got my little crafters companion one let's try that so i am going to need a little bit of card just to clean this off because last time i was doing it in pools okay so now i can just come in just add in a little bit of glitter to those flowers and this is um, like a Wink of Stella, sort of a clear, glittery sort of ink, really, I suppose. Um, and you're not going to see a lot of it, but in a certain light, you're going to see that twinkle. And this is great for pulling out ink, um, sort of making an ink sort of glittery as well. 
in the last couple of times I've used it, I've made a glittery ink with it by putting a load on my mat and then a bit of colour. I haven't done that for a while. I haven't used this for a while, to be honest with you. Just checking, that is... a bit drying. There we go. And obviously because this is matastic it's going to take it real really nicely. I just have to be a bit careful because I have flooded it a little bit. So just going over just making sure. Put some on I think. Mm. I'm just doing that on those beautiful little fuchsias. Just go over those because I can't see any shine on them, even when I tilt it to the light. So maybe the pen wasn't working as well as it should. Maybe it's been dried up a bit because I haven't used it for so long. If you wanted to, you could add um, some more of the toppers on there, like I say, and I will show you. Yeah, yeah that's bad. I don't know if you'll catch that on the screen now. But there is just that little twinkle. Okay, let's pop that away. Um, so you, you do have all of these smaller toppers on there, so you could always add another one on if you wanted to go down in the three. Um, I kind of think I've got the three circles there because I've got the frame, the topper and the um, sentiment. Okay, so I'm just going to bring in the first card. Obviously both of these cards need an insert so just need to cut that to size and pop that in. Oops, it's got a little bit of a backing on. So those are the two cards that we've made today. So quite different from each other I suppose. Um, although um, similar in, in one way, I guess, in that the circles. Um, don't forget, um, these smaller circles here um, and here, even this one really, if you've got the, um, the die, the rocker die, those would go perfect in the centre of that rocker die because you do get that circle um, frame die with it. Sorry, just dropped the gems on the floor. Um, you do get that circle die with it and some some layers and then that would go nicely in the middle and you could have you know that would make two or three nice little rocker cards um, which are nice for any sort of occasion they don't have to be just for kids um, you know I find them you know my nan would like cards that moved a lot as well so you know it's worth um, getting that die I think I, I don't know um, how I manage about it. I have used it quite a few times and on videos on here as well. I've done quite a few videos. Um, but that is all I've got time for today. So I'm uh, just going to take um, George out for a little walk, I think. Um, and then um, I will get these pictures uploaded to Pinterest and um, put some pictures on Facebook as well. And they're quite, not quite as straight as I would have liked. But that one's moving. Looks, yeah, it looks a bit better. Okay, um, yeah, so um, that's it for today. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Next time I am gonna come back with the little book for this. So I'm just gonna make a couple of cards of the little book. So I may need to bring some papers in, maybe from um, a pattern book. Um, you know the duo book or I may even use some of the papers from this kit we'll see what happens but thank you so much for watching and see you next time happy crafting bye